What's up everyone and here we go with another mining rig. For this mining rig I decided to get the 1300 watt gold plus power supply as always. Uh, also 3 RX6600 XT by the power color. This is the fighter edition one. For the motherboard I got the prime B460MA by ASUS and 3 RX6600 XT by ASUS. Some fans. And for the CPU, I got the Intel Core i3-10105. I will explain why this one later. And 240GB inland SSD, some RAM stick and thermal paste. Stay tuned to know more. So moving on, I decided to show you how we can check the compatibilities between these parts in the PC Parts Picker website. Because I seen previously some of other YouTubers, they just show you a list of what is the cost and they don't show you how you can modify your result. And by this I mean uh, if you modify your result, it's better because sometimes the parts that the other YouTubers or even me I show you at the time that you're watching this video may not be available. So it's always good to know how to check the compatibility and what are the other parts. So I, therefore I decided to do it on this website where the prices are almost accurate too. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is to go on the system builder. We're going to choose our CPU. The CPU that I chose as you guys saw was the i3-10105. As you saw the beginning of the video, the Intel Core i3 that I chose was the 10105, the regular one, not the F. And in my previous videos where I explained another mining rig uh, with an Intel Core i3 10100F, I also recommend to get uh, this i3 10105 and not the 10100F or not the 10105F. The price for those are cheaper, uh, although you may see that, okay, they both have a performance clock of 3.7 GHz, performance boost clock of 4.4, and they both uh, consume uh, 60 watt of power. But there is an important catch to it. As you can see, the first one doesn't have an integrated graphic. None. And you may think, okay, I'm building a mining rig, I have lots of GPUs, why do I need an integrated graphic? You need integrated graphic for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is that once you're building your mining rig, uh, the end of your mining rig is towards the fan. And if you want to connect an HDMI cable to your GPU to get a video output, because obviously when you don't have an integrated graphic with your CPU, you're not able to use the HDMI cable on the mother on the motherboard. Yeah, and you have to connect your HDMI cable to your or your DisplayPort cable to your GPU in order to get a video output, in order to install an operating system, in order to run mining software. So therefore. Uh, you have to modify your rig and you have to put your rig somehow that your fan doesn't touch the cable and therefore at that time you'll get uh, bad airflow and your GPU will get hot. That's one reason. Another reason is that once you're mining with your uh, GPU at 100% load then your GPU does not have the ability to load windows to to have an, a stable operating system. And even if you overclock that GPU and you want to both mine with it and get a video output for your operating system with it, your system will not be stable at all and will crash all the time. I tried it uh, with the Intel Core IT10100F as you saw in my previous video and I will not do that anymore. I will just pay an extra $20 and get an integrated graphic with the CPU and I don't have to modify my mining rig and I have a stable system. So that's the first part that you have to consider. Right here we can see the price is $119 but I got it from Micro Center for $100 and I saw online stores uh, even under $100. So uh, depending on the time you're watching this video the price may be different. So we're going to add this one.
For the CPU cooler, we just use the stock uh, CPU cooler that comes with this CPU. Additionally, uh, the 10105 series has a way better CPU cooler than the 10100F or the regular 10100 one. Because those, uh, the i3-10100 uh, has a CPU cooler that uh, is the same for the past 10 years with Intel. And it's not that great once you're running your mining for 24-7. Although you're not putting any load on your CPU, but it's on all the time. And it will get hot with that uh, CPU cooler. But with the 10105, Intel came and introduced a brand new CPU cooler and you don't have to worry about your CPU getting hot at all. Uh, as you saw the video, we got the ASUS B460MA. Which is this one. I click on add. Uh, this ASUS Prime B460MA, the Micro ATX uh, motherboard, is the first edition. There is another motherboard, the same one, B460MA R2, which is the second edition one. The only difference between this one and that one is that the second edition has an extra PCA slot, which we don't really need it for a fixed GPU mining rig. And I previously got that one. It's a $20 more expensive. And the way that I used an extra PC slot was uh, on one of my mining rig. I added another GPU to that rig. So I have a 7 GPU mining rig. If you're interested in that, check out my other video. And also I added on another mining rig, a 6 GPU mining rig, where I used the extra uh, PC slot as an internal Wi-Fi adapter instead of using a USB Wi-Fi adapter or using LAN uh, because I had a spare Wi-Fi adapter left uh, on my table so why not use it instead of getting $20 Wi-Fi card I put $20 on the motherboard later on maybe I upgraded into a 7 mining uh, GPU uh, for the memory, I got the G-Skill Ripjaw, the, uh, the 16 gigabyte one, so it's a DDR4-3200, and the price is $63, but I only use one of the stick for the mining rig, and I save the other stick for the other mining rig. You can do that. You can use both of them at first, and then once you get your other mining rig, you can just take out one of these sticks and put it on the other one. 4 gig is not enough, 8 gig is recommended, 16 gig is too much. So just a stick with 8 gigabyte, because you don't really need more than 8 gigabyte. More than 8 gigabyte, the rest of the memory that you need to have is virtual memory, not an actual memory. Save one for your next mining rig. Moving on to the storage, definitely you have to get an SSD. Maybe if you have an spare NVMe, use that one, but never use a hard drive for mining because you're using your storage as a virtual memory. And if you have a hard drive, hard drive is slow as a virtual memory and your hash rate will be compromised, your other problems. And maybe your uh, mining software cannot read from the client and many other pro problems. So my recommendation, I always get the inland uh, SSD, the 240 gigabyte one. This one for a 27.99, fairly cheap and works perfect. 240, 40 gigabyte for my operating system. I put 100 gigabyte for the virtual memory and I have 100 gigabyte left. You can use the 121 too, which is like about $18. Uh, for 121, 30 gig you put for your operating system and 90 gig for your virtual memory and you don't have anything else left in there. And later on, if uh, you upgrade it to a 7 GPU rig or uh, Windows becomes like larger, 
uh, then you have to upgrade so why not get the 240 and not think about anything happen to it for future for the video card uh, we got three power color fighter edition and three asus both of them were 6600 xt and i just consider uh power color fighter edition 759 right here the price are uh overpriced i'm just gonna add the asus one because I wanted to show the other parts uh, we have six of them you can find it around 600 760 is a little bit overpriced on Amazon you can find it on 600 from Best Buy Micro Center and other stores uh, both the ASUS and the power color I got for 600 and we have six of them means 3600 We don't need the case, you need a mining rig frame. For the mining rig frame, I built my own wooden mining rig frame. Why wood, maybe you think? Why not just get an uh, aluminum or a steel frame online? Uh, the answer to that is, if you use a metallic mining rig frame, metal is conductive and heat can transfer through it. So once your GPU is get hot, the frame will get hot and will transport that heat to your other GPUs and your other component and they will all get hot and you cannot cool it down. But if you use wood, it will not get that hot. And I built my own mining uh, frame with wood, as you can see right here, uh, for only $10. If you're interested in that, check out my video on that one. Moving on for the power supply, I got the EVGA 1300 Cold Plus. So 1300. Gold Plus. We can see right here EVGA 1000 Gold Plus, $209. And. It was $309, there is a promotion on EVGA, you save $100 and the shipping is free, $209.99, which is a great deal, I really like it. And you may think why $1,300, uh, well, uh, there are many online calculators that you can uh, use. For example, this one, because I've seen previously some people say in comment, I have six GPU, I use a 750 watt power supply, I have no problem. The answer to that is maybe you're just uh, counting how much wattage you need for each GPU underclocked. And they're not taking into consideration of the risers, they're not taking into consideration of the hard drive, of the motherboard and many other components only the hard drive motherboard the HDMI cable they all drain power and you need to take into consideration of those and if you don't do that and uh, after some time your mining rig your GPU your motherboard will all get cooked because you're giving them a uh, little power and your GPU are working at 100% and your power supply your uh, draining everything out of it and that's not good so for example in this calculator uh, we can add what we have the CPU the 10105 i3 10 So this one doesn't have the 10105 but we can add the 10100 
the 10100 use 65 watt same thing as this one and as i saw this one uh, consumes 65 watt too so i just stick with one intel core i3 because all of the i3s use almost the same wattage so really doesn't matter and for the utilization 90 percent i think it, it's okay because we're not using the cpu a lot for the memory stick one and it's an 8 gig ddr4 module for the videos we have three uh, amd power color and for the memory clock and uh, what was it? Uh, it is the 6600 XT and for the memory clock, once I overclock it, I put it on 2274 like, wattage on 0 and for cold war, uh, core clock, I put on 1971. Then we have three ASUS ones, 6600 XT same thing this one i put to 2252 and 1968 is okay we have a storage one we have theta ssd we don't have optical drive we don't have pci express card we have a standard keyboard and mouse because we need to power up our operating system and install the mining software then usb led controllers and others and a uh, riser drains similar power to a usb3 because they are uh, made based on usb3 so we have six risers add two right here and usb3 device usb3 device and why i add uh, seven because one of them is the wi-fi card i use an external wi-fi card Moving on to the fans, we have six fans. They're 120 millimeter. We have one mother monitor, and for my monitor, I'm using an LED 27 inch, always on 24/7 since we're mining and game on. Why game on? It says right here: gaming, video editing, 3D rendering. So once you're gaming, you're not using 100% of your. Um, GPU. Once you're video editing, you're not even using 100% of your GPU. Maybe when you're doing 3D rendering, you're using 100%. But we right here, we're mining, and for mining, we're using 100% 24-7. So we put it on the game mode feature in order to calculate everything correctly. And then you press on calculate. And right here, we can see that we missed something, I believe. Yeah, right here, I choose only four graphic cards, but we have six. I forgot to put three right here. So calculate. And this means that the load wattage that we need, the minimum one is 1,207 watt. The recommended one is 1,257. And the closest one to this that we can get is the EVGA Supernova 1300 Gold Plus. For 1300 Gold Plus, um, it's the Gold Plus one, but since we have about 100 Watt extra left in there, and our GPUs are AMDs, uh, as you can see right here, they're recommending the Gold Plus one, which I use it too. As you saw in the beginning of the video and this is okay for this rig but if you want to build an nvidia mining rig which drains more power i really uh, recommend or a 67 or 68 or 6900 uh, you should then get um, titanium or platinum power supply right here you can also see how much it costs uh, for electricity per year at my location it costs around four thousand dollar per year which is a little bit too much so that's how you know what power supply you're getting maybe you want to build a four gpu rig then 
you just go to that website and get the power supply for that one but at this price i think that 1300 watt is good even if you're making a 4 gpu rig maybe later on you add an extra um two extra gpus and you need this one why not get it right now for operating system you can use windows or you can use a mining software so i will not really include that one in and for the monitor i will not include that one in so in total it costs around four thousand one hundred and thirty four dollar and but that's not it you need some other components too including a uh, one to four pci adapter because as i saw the motherboard has only three slots and you need to split the first slot which is the pcie 4 into four other pca slots and this motherboard you can do it without any, having any problem so you just get uh, this PCIe 1 to 4 adapter and you connect your risers to this one via USB. Your riser already have a USB at the end it has an adapter which lets you to connect to a time 16 slot. You just take that off and connect the USB to the PCIe Express adapter. You also need some risers. The riser costs around $60 for you. There is two type of risers, the three capacitor risers like this one and eight capacitor risers like this one. If you don't know uh, what riser to get and what is the difference between a three capacitor riser and an eight capacitor riser, definitely check out my other video. Moving on, let's check when you can break even and what is the profitability of these GPUs and the mining rig we built. So. The first thing we need to check is today's price because today's price really matters. As you can see, BTC was about 80,000 in 2021 and in the start of 2022, the price dropped. That's completely normal because uh, every year the BTC has to test different prices and right now it's testing 42,000. Once the tests are done, it, the price will go up again. But uh, we need to predict when it goes up. For mining, it really doesn't matter because you're stacking your coins, whether you're mining Ethereum or other coins. And you don't have to sell it at today's price. You can keep them and sell it when the price is high. So uh, in order to calculate, I always use the miner stat uh, profitability calculator. So I click on GPU mining. And in the GPU mining, we can find the RX 6600 XT from the list. Aim the RX 6600 XT. You can click on it. This GPU. And it takes us to this page. And for my electricity cost, it costs 32 cents. Calculate. We can see right here, if you mine cow pow, you get 17.43 mega hash rating there. You're getting $2.18 right here. They say 77 watt, but that's not right. Mining cow pow weighs like 150 watts. And at the end of the day, this 218 becomes the 187. And what happens is that you just put too much pressure on your GPU. Mining cow pow, uh, allegory and mining this coin uh, hurts your GPU. You are putting too much load at, at, the, at the end of the day after deducting the electricity cost, uh, you're getting the same amount of money. It depends 
However, if you're in a location where electricity cost is low, maybe mining cowboy uh, has more profit for you. But I like to stick with it hash. Uh, the power consumption is 59 watt, correct? And once you overclock, you get 32 mega hash between 32 to 33. You get 187 and for my location, 45 cent electricity, I get 140, 142 every day. However, I don't use uh, nano pool TH. You can use it. The pool that I use is two minor ETH. I get 155 minus 45, 110 profitability. But let's consider you're using the nano pool and you get 187. So for the six GPUs that you have, you get $11, about $12 at today's price where everything, uh, all of the price dropped. Meaning if Ethereum price goes up, this $11 becomes like $20, sometimes $30. But right now at the worst case scenario, you're getting $11. And let's run the calculator. So you can see at the worst case scenario. So let's say the prices don't go up anymore. Uh, it will stay like this forever which is very rare and the price will go up soon so you get $12 per day right now and uh, times 30 day you get 360 per month times 12 you get 4320 which as you saw the cost of all of the rig was about 4100 and then plus uh, the risers and the adapter and the frame and some of the other things that you may pay extra like tax uh, it's about 4300 so at the worst case scenario you break even in one year this we're considering the price don't go up at all but what you always can do is uh, you can uh, once you're mining your coin and like let's say next month the price goes up you can sell it and then buy it again trade it but right here we considering you're not trading you're not doing anything and every day once you get your payout you're changing it to USD and you're taking it out so in that case, after one year you break even and what happens is that your GPU works at least for two more years with full profitability and what this means is two more years of profit you're getting and after that two years your profitability decreases gradually and but you're uh, still you break even you got two years of profit and it doesn't matter as long as it makes one cent after deducting the electricity cost you're on profit for however it works that's the good part if you have any question about this mining rig definitely comment below other than this thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day